everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be all about dealing with stress and anxiety. So I actually posted about anxiety um, on my blog not so long ago, and a lot of you got in touch and just said how much it affects you um, and how helpful the tips were. So I thought I would just widen it a little bit and do some tips on how to deal with stress and anxiety because stress affects us all, no matter how laid back we think we are, it really does get to us. So yeah, I'm gonna share the little things that help me and then be amazing if you could leave um, your tips in the comment box below that way anyone that watches this video is going to get so much value um, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel you can just click this little button um, and yeah please let me know what kind of videos you want to see from my channel um, because I love to hear your feedback so this is how I deal with stress and anxiety. So what I think is really important is to have routines. So what I mean by this is really sticking to certain times of the day to do certain things. So waking up at certain times, going to work at certain times, working out, going to bed at the same time, just having all of these routines really help you to have a really good structure in your life. Um, and that really saves you getting worked up over what's going on in a day. And I think, you know, when things are really planned out, you do get a better sleep, um, you're gonna feel more energetic and sleep alone is such a healer for stress. So I 100% recommend that you get into a routine and try and stick to it. I think sometimes a weekend can really throw routines because you'll stay out a lot later or you'll get up a lot later. And one thing I always try to do is never have too much sleep but never have too little sleep. So even on a weekend, even though it's tempting to stay in bed for like 10, 11 hours, I do just try to have the eight, nine hours. Um, and that way my body really gets used to the same amount of sleep and I just feel it gives me a lot more energy. Another thing that really helps me is to write down to-do lists um, and what I'll do is pick three main things every day that I want to get done. Anything that gets done outside of those three things is just a huge bonus. So you know I can have a list like the length of my arm but I, if I know if I just get three of the most important things done then the day will be a great day and I'll have achieved so much. So try not to get so bogged down by to-do lists and things that are on your list. Don't try and overestimate how much work you can get done because it just leaves you with a feeling of that you've not accomplished anything, that you need to be more productive. And this kind of, this really eats away at you inside, I think, and it can really bring your energy down. Um, it can bring your motivation down. Just make sure you get those three things done. And if you, you know, go ahead and do six, then go and buy yourself something lovely because you've worked hard. So what, another thing that really helps me is to plan my day hour by hour. So time blocking um, really helps me to focus. It helps me to get stuff done. And this means that I'm gonna be a lot less stressed. Um, I'm not gonna stand, like stay stressing over something for like hours on end and then the end of the day comes and I realize all I've done is get myself worked up. If I've got an hour to do something and it's really stressing me out or it's not going anywhere, I'm not feeling it, when that hour's up I know I'm moving on to something else, I can come back to that task with fresh eyes. Um, sometimes we think we need to just hammer something out until it gets done and if it's causing you that much stress you're not going to be performing at your optimum so it's much better just to leave it, do something else that stimulates you in a good way, come back to it. When things get too much and you really do start to feel stressed or you're starting to feel some anxiety coming on, um, you can't always take time off. And this does happen to me a lot where something will happen in the business and it really stresses me out. And I can't just, as much as I'd love to, I can't just go and take the entire afternoon off because at the end of the day, this thing needs to be dealt with. So what I'll do is just go outdoors for 10 minutes. Everyone can spare 10 minutes. So even if you think you're the busiest person in the world, you can spare 10 minutes. Go get some fresh air, let it clear your mind. You know, it really is a wonder what fresh air can do for us all. You don't always need to go on a massive shopping spree to relieve some stress, just get outdoors. Um, I think sometimes in stressful situations, we can kind of let it overwhelm us. And all we do is think negatively and just put ourselves in this negative circle where we're just gonna make ourselves worse and worse. I think one thing that really helps me in a stressful situation is gratitude. So even when something really bad happens, I'll sit and think, okay, what are three things right now that I'm grateful for? And it just pulls everything back into perspective. You know, yeah, that one thing might be awful, but if you can think of three things that actually you're really, really grateful for, it pulls it into perspective and you can kind of think, okay, one bad thing happened, but I can fix it. Your mindset just moves into a, like a new positive space. And if you would like approach any task with a more positive mind, you're gonna get better results. If you approach a task with, oh my God, this is the worst day ever, I 
don't know what to do, this is the worst outcome, then yeah, chances are you're gonna keep digging and digging and it's not gonna end very well. If you can just come back with a fresh perspective, you can think positively, you can think what is going great, then you're probably gonna get a much better outcome. Something else which is an absolute non-negotiable for me no matter how stressed I am is working out. I absolutely love to work out and exercise even if it's 30 minutes a day. You know, I try and do an hour a day if I can. If I really can't squeeze that in, 30 minutes. And just getting your body moving, doing something that you enjoy makes you feel so much better. So for me, I love bar, I love any kind of dance class. Um, I love things that make me feel good. I already mentioned on a previous video how how much I hate spinning. If I'm having a bad day and I go to spinning, I'm gonna come out having even a worse day because it just makes me feel absolutely terrible. So yeah, do something you enjoy, move your body, even if it's just like going and playing a, like a game of tennis or anything, you're getting outdoors, you're moving. Um, and that for me just works wonders. And on top of that, I think sometimes when you're having a stressful week, it can be really tempting to grab the sugar, the really bad snacks, you can eat really unhealthily, you'll um, not be planning any of your meals, so you'll just have whatever's available. And all of this bad food will make you feel so much worse. It really will. It will affect your energy. It will just make your bad week even worse. So no matter how stressed you are or how anxious you feel, really try and nourish your body. When your body is under stress or anxiety, it's crying out for some love and attention. And so like, give it what it needs, give it some nice food and make sure that you always set aside time to make yourself good food. Um, you know, it doesn't need to take a long time. It doesn't need to be expensive. Just don't kind of let your body tempt you into having all of those biscuits and chocolate and sugar because you're gonna go up and then you're gonna go all the way down and when you go even further down, it's gonna be worse than when you started. What I do if I'm um, needing to get myself out of a bit of a rut, um, if I am having a stressful day, is put some music on and dance like an absolute lunatic, okay? So I'll just turn it right up and I'll just like go crazy around the office, I'll be jumping up and down, I'll just, just let everything out and just go crazy and it really does, nine times out of 10, put a massive smile on my face, I'm like ready to take anything on, I'm just a completely new person. And this goes for even if you're not stressed or if you're just tired, if you've got a lot going on, if you have a busy schedule and you're sitting at your desk and you're just like flagging a little bit and you're just feeling a bit rubbish, put the music on full volume, get out of your chair, just go crazy, like seriously go for it because it'll make you feel absolutely amazing. So another thing that I absolutely love is um, electric diffusers. So I first found out about these when I was staying over at a friend's house and she had one burning and she put some oils in. You put oil in, like an essential oil with water and you plug it in and it just burns, it like comes out this, um, vapor which smells of these essential oils and it like lights up and so I remember trying it when I stayed at her house and I had the best night's sleep ever and so I went out straight like straight away and got one um I just got this one on Amazon and I got some um oil blends from Neil's Yard oh my god this has changed my life so I have different oils depending on different times of day so I have one of these in the office um and I have like an energizing blend it's supposed to keep you focused and then on an evening when I'm trying to wind down I'll put um, a calming and relaxing blend on and I'll leave it on when I go to sleep and it has like a timer you can have it for like an hour or two hours so if I leave this on I know it's going to turn off when I'm asleep I love it we have like a joke in the office where um if anyone needs a bit of a wake up they're like oh can we have some spa time and we put this on and it like lights up and you feel like you're in a spa it's just an amazing pick-me-up. I totally recommend something like this if you're into essential oils. Um, an alternative to this is candles. I love scented candles and lighting candles just makes me feel really serene. So if I come home super late and I haven't got long to wind down, um, but I wanna go to bed, I'll just light some candles. All of that just really makes me feel good. But do you know what I did the other day, which was just the worst? Um, so I lit a candle before going to bed and then I kind of turned my lamp off and so I couldn't really see much and so I was blowing really hard on the candle and then I went to sleep and so I woke up in the morning walked over to the mirror to see what I was working with as you do um there was black coming out of my nose like you might have seen this on snapchat it was coming out of my nose it was all of my face and I really thought that th that was my last hour I thought I was a goner so I like ran downstairs I was freaking out I was like what's happening there's black coming out of my nose and so it turned out it was soot and I just blew my candle out far too hard the night before which 
so just don't do that just avoid the, the candle blowing um yeah that was a really scary moment but anyway so another thing um stress and anxiety can do to you is keep you awake at night we all have had those nights where we lie in bed and we things that don't even bother us so much during the day can come up at night and we can just be lying there stewing over the most ridiculous of things and we'll not be able to sleep and a lot of us think well it's bedtime i should stay in bed i have to be in bed i really don't think that's true if you're lying there and you're having all of these thoughts get up out of bed go make yourself a cup of tea or go and do something take your mind off these outrageously ridiculous anxious thoughts do something and then go back to bed because i guarantee you're gonna get back to sleep faster if you take a break then go back to bed than if you just lie there with your thoughts i don't know what it is as humans but once we have one thought late at night this can just turn we can just turn little molehills into mountains um, and I think all of us are guilty of doing it. So if you can, just get up, go and have a cup of tea, read a book for a little bit. Sometimes I put an audio on and just give yourself a bit of a break from thinking and then go back to bed. You're gonna feel so much better. So another thing that I think is really important alongside being healthy is supplementation. So making sure that you're always getting the right supplements in your body, making sure that you're not deficient in any vitamins because that can really make you feel tired, which can lead to more stress and more anxiety. One thing, that I love is magnesium oil. So this one is, um, it's really good for your muscles, but this one is a spray. So um, you spray it on before bed and magnesium can really help you sleep. It can give you some crazy dreams as well. Um, it doesn't with me, but it does with some of my friends. I just got this one on Amazon. I'll link it below if you wanna try it. But yeah, you just spray this on, go to bed. You're gonna sleep better. Your, your sleep quality is better. And also being a spray, it's like, one of the quickest ways to get magnesium in your body and like replenish your levels. And then if you do get too stressed, whoever's annoying you, spray it in their eyes. Just like, it has so many different functions. Just get it right in there. Who needs pepper spray when you have magnesium oil? Another tip is to always wind down before bed so that you don't get in the situation where you're just overthinking things and you're getting stressed and you're getting anxious. Um, things that work for me really well is reading before bed or listening to podcasts. So on your iPhone, you have this feature where you can um, set your timer for like 10 minutes and audio will shut off after that 10 minutes. So you can just put a podcast on and audio or if you like music, meditation, um, put that on and just lie in bed. And if you do have a lot on, it kind of takes your mind off everything else um, and just lets you focus on this nice thing that you're learning that you're hearing about and you're going to be asleep probably before the audio even turns off another thing is just reading you know put the diffuser on have some mood lighting just read in bed rather than you know coming home and watching things on your laptop and keeping your mind really stimulated or scrolling through instagram we all do it just take your mind away from technology we all need a little bit of a detox and if you can give yourself like 30 minutes every night to completely detox from your screen i think it will really help you uh, sleep it'll make you feel better and it'll definitely reduce your stress and anxiety so another thing um, that really, really helps me when um, I'm feeling stressed or anxious is to accept what is in my control and accept what is outside of my control. So if something is absolutely in my control, I will do everything I possibly can to fix it and to solve the problem. If it's out of my control, I can spend a million years worrying and getting upset about it. But if I can't change it, then what is the point? You're not using your energy very well at all. So always put your energy into things you can change and let your energy just flow over the things you can't change. Yes, it might make you feel a bit terrible, um, anything like that. Of course it will. But if you can just learn how to let it go and just get rid of that thing and focus on what you can change, you really start to see situations very, very differently. And when something happens and it makes you stressed, you can break this down. Okay, well, this has happened and I can change this, but I have no control over this, this, and this. So rather than focusing on this, I'm gonna focus on this. And it just overall changes your attitude. It really makes you feel so much better and you approach things with a much more positive um, outlook and mindset. And then finally, don't blame other people for your stress and your anxiety. Yes, people can annoy you, but if you just let other people's actions come, like always stress you out and um, make you anxious, like that's something you're gonna be dealing with for the rest of your life because whether you like it or not, you're gonna be surrounded by people for all of your life, okay? So don't let the actions of other people 
get get to you and upset you, just let it go. It's the same thing as when you can't change something. You'll never be able to change someone else's behaviour. And if you drum into them what you dislike about them or what's annoying you about them, they're going to act that way even more because they're going to be really upset and defensive. And so you've not upset just upset yourself, but you've upset someone else too, which doesn't make you feel any better. So always just try and let it go. Don't let people get on top of you. Um, and just learn how to focus on the good and get rid of the bad. So I hope these tips have helped you. Um, these are just things that I've picked up myself um, when I've had my own stresses and anxieties. And I've really noticed that over the past year, my anxiety levels have just dropped significantly. It's very, very rare that I get the same anxiety that I used to. And I really think it is just putting lots of small changes into practice because all of these small changes over a long period of time can really make the big changes. And I think that's the best way to make the big changes so please let me know below um, what really works for you um, if there's anything that I've said that you also agree with please let me know and again don't forget to subscribe for